Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Here are the best settings for Alan Wake 2 on the Steam Deck Steam OS. But before we get started, let's hear some words from our sponsor of today's video, iBanky. iBanky is a computer accessories brand. They specialize in docking stations and they also have accessories such as hubs, video cables, video adapters, video switcher, which they sent over for me to review. And they also sent me over a gaming dock. All right, so we're gonna take a look at this iVanky Gaming Dock 6-in-1. This supports the Steam Deck, supports the ROG Ally, and it's going to support the Lenovo Legion Go as well. All right, so we're gonna take a look at this. I'm actually using this dock right now, and my Alan Wake video was uh, videoed on this dock. So yeah, let's take a look at it in action. So right here, I've got the my setup. So my Steam Deck's on the dock. I've got the video switcher. I've got my capture card at the back, the Nintendo Switch connected to my computer setup with the extra monitors. All right, so let's take a look at the dock first. All right, so what I like about this dock is that it's got braided cable, so it makes it look like better and it's also protecting the cable. And also it's a like aluminium dock. It's not plastic, it's like very sturdy. So I really like that. The, the back of it, let's take a look at the back. The ports we have, the standard ports. We've got the Gigabit Ethernet, the HDMI out. Then we've got three USB, five gigabits per second. So that's around 625 megabytes per second transfer. Okay, and then we've got a power delivery USB-C port, okay? So yeah, very, very sturdy. I really like this stand. Okay, it holds up the Steam Deck very well. It's a premium product. I know there are cheaper options out there, but I like this premium built. All right. And it also comes with these um, gaming caps. So these thumb caps. for uh, like They work for the Steam Deck. I don't have the ROG Ally to check it out. But yeah, I assume it, it, they work. So this is a nice touch. It just comes bundled with the dock because it's a gaming dock. And for the switcher, why I need the switcher? Because when I'm connected, since I've got only got one HDMI in for my capture card, so if I need to capture footage for my Steam Deck, and then I need to switch it out with my Switch, I need to unplug the HDMI, which is a pain. All right, so with the switcher, now I've got the Nintendo Switch, the HDMI is plugged into the switcher, and I've also got the Steam Deck. The HDMI is plugged in here, then it goes HDMI out into the capture card. So let's take a look at that in action. So now here's my footage of it connecting to the Steam Deck, right? And when I press a button, when I press a button, it switches over to the Nintendo Switch, just like that. So I don't have to like mess around with the HDMI, the setup's all done, and now I can just press it again and it will change back to the Steam Deck. So yeah, that's very convenient for me. And it, this also comes with a remote controller. I don't really need the remote controller because it's on my computer desk, but I'm guess if you're having this set up uh, with your TV, then you probably need the remote controller. So yeah. So thank you iBanky for sponsoring this video and sending over two very good products for me to use. So I have a link in the description if you want to purchase from them. So let's get back to the video. Okay, so if you need to get good performance, you need to update your Steam OS. So on your Steam Deck, gaming mode, press the Steam button, go to settings, system, and then make sure you have this, enable developer mode, make sure it's on. Then on the left hand side, go all the way to the bottom. You should have a developer tab now. And then drag it down. Uh, you should have something called show advanced update channels. So make sure this is also toggled on. Uh, you might have to um, restart Steam. I'm not sure, but uh, you can go back to system. And if you have this, the beta participation, OS update channel, set it to beta. And then update. So, and then you should be able to go to, uh, right now, the beta version is 3.5.1, all right? So once you've updated this, the graphics are upgraded. 
and uh, it runs a lot better okay so let's just run the game i've had some time to play with it and i'm getting a good balance for the graphics and performance and i'm getting like average 30 frames uh sometimes it does drop so we get this game is installed on hard disk error message or warning just click OK, but we don't have the we don't have the GPU warning anymore. All right. So before we had the GPU warning. So once the OS is updated, you don't have that anymore. So that's a good thing. OK, and let's go to options. So here are my settings. I'm going with borderless and I'm using the performance mode for the FSR. So FSR 2, VSync on, uh, I disabled I disabled the motion blur and film grain okay and then the presets i'm using i'm oh, sorry i'm going all over the place okay the quality presets so texture i'm on high and then everything else on low everything else on the minimum okay and then on the steam deck uh framework limit is off and then scaling mode auto scaling filter on linear and then on power tools power tools smt on threads 8 governor performance and then i'm going to turn off frequency limits so everything else is disabled okay so persistent profile okay by settings okay okay let's start a new game and let's see the performance all right so we do get pretty good performance for a gaming handheld running on battery all right back to the beginning we all okay. come to us see this is the opening area i'm getting 40 something it is like pretty bare bone here so yeah pretty good performance here Except once you go into the forest there's a lot of foliage and yeah performance drops then and then when like there's lights and stuff it, it drops okay but still pretty good very playable i know someone's gonna ask me in the comments like how's the battery life I, i'm i'm running on batteries not on i'm charged on a dock i'm filming so i haven't done a battery test uh i'm not sure if i will I don't really do battery tests, like, but um, yeah. Okay, so as you can see, I'm still at averaging 40 here. And it does look a little bit worse on the monitor because it's blown up a little bit. If you're playing on handheld mode on the Steam Deck screen, it does look a lot better. But yeah. Uh, so updating to OS 3.5.1 was definitely a bonus. If you watched my previous video when I just got it to work, I just I was too excited. I, I, I didn't have time to tweak the settings. Just wanted to make a video. But um, I was running on like everything at the minimum with ultra performance. And I was getting like 20 to 30 frames. Sometimes in the teens. But yeah, so with the updated OS, yeah, you can tweak the, uh, the set graphics to look a little bit better to balance it out if I want frames per second I can get it higher but the graphics would look worse so I think this is a really sweet spot I'll leave these settings in the in the description so people can follow along there as well just want to show you some gameplay see here getting more voltage it's going into the mid 30s And there's rain and stuff going on. Okay. Here's where I get butchered. But here's the lights and stuff. And the enemies coming out. So it's dropping to like mid-20s. Mid Alright. Yeah, it's still not bad. If you ask me. Okay, I'm going to skip this cutscene. was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene there's the car right. so where's the deputy <laughs> yeah we're getting there. like 30-ish here 
check out the map. Okay, zoom in. Player. Okay, we need to go here. It happens. Okay. You're the one who wanted to switch. I think I hear someone. I'm not walking all the way back. Could down. be our deputy. I could go take a look. Hey, over here. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. All right. Anderson. Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about I'm that. Gonna skip this part as well. Were there any witnesses? Yeah. A couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure. That's real simple. Just... Hey, so 20 ish 30. Before yeah. we get to the crime scene, there's time to review in the, the facts forest. Of the case so far. Normally, it's a little bit worse in the forest clearly. because there's just a lot of foliage. Okay. So now in we're place. in her room. I think it's a lot better the here. The yeah, because there's not there's no trees and stuff, so it's a lot better. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. Okay. So I think that's about it. I think you get a pretty good idea. So this is my recommended settings. Like it's a good balance between the graphics and the FPS, not going all over the place. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.